Hey guys, how you doing? It's Trina Sennison. You're tuning into the infamous Living Room Network. Divine power is always working for us because we're trying to do right. It's the 26th of May. We're almost at the end of May. So that means that we're almost at the end of the Millionaire Mindset Challenge. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how you've been doing on your Millionaire Mindset Challenge, guys. Uh, that's why I asked you to speak up, let your voice be heard, and leave a nice little comment at the very bottom in the comment section and let me know what your experience is like or you can let the rest of the realm team members here all the subscribers know what your millionaire mindset experience was like um <clears throat> you know as we engage the end of this month so uh with that being said on my hand uh yeah i kind of like been slipping these past couple of days i ain't been really uh listening to my affirmations like i'm supposed to and that's and that's normal guys that's normal when you're you know trying to accomplish certain tasks and meet certain goal goals and whatnot you're gonna always have little setbacks little delays you might go down a road it'd be a roadblock you know you might be on the highways traffic be backed up simply because the police had somebody pulled over and you didn't even know it was coming so that's just life guys you're gonna you're gonna always experience some type of setback you know when you're trying to accomplish anything and that's what you probably experiencing on the millionaire mindset but it's absolutely normal so with that being said let's get right down into it real quick and real simple um yeah i don't I had a good day i'm being like i said i'm being more laid back with the videos guys and just trying to make more at home videos and whatnot um i plan to have my living room network stuff around me real soon i'm gonna order some stuff uh, to put us in the theme of the living room network and to make you feel more at home when you watch these videos. Um, also, uh, I plan to do some, you know, pictograms and stuff like that on, on, a, on a piece of paper and whatnot, like on a board so that you can have a more visual <coughs> example or interpretation of what I'm trying to explain. Um, I've gotten feedback, you know, some people telling me that, you know, they didn't understand what I was saying. So I think that it'll be great if we got a visual representation, interpretation, so that you can probably understand better, you know, the metaphysics, uh, the spirituality and stuff I'm talking about, you know, because sometimes it can get kind of mind boggling. Uh, but anyway, let's let's talk about this. Look, like, let's talk about a positive life. What is a positive life? Uh, a positive life is, is something that doesn't, come by many um a lot of people don't go throughout their life even thinking like uh, am i living a positive life am i living a negative life um majority of people just go through life aimlessly um and you know have no real set focus as to you know who they want to become or who they want to be and this is good this is not a bad thing this is actually good because you have people like us who are over here thinking too hard you know trying to get from here to there we thinking like way too hard you know, we're not letting life take its course most of the time. So we're trying to make ourselves better, other people's lives better, and the world a better place. We're trying to just empty ourselves and fill ourselves up more with the universe and just go in that flow of things. But a positive life could be an array of different things. i give an example. Today, um, I was just not in the most positive mood, and, and, and I was just being a human being. Um, and I came across this lady, and... Um, like I said, I wasn't in a positive mood and I was talking, having a conversation with this lady. The first moments of conversation with this lady, I was saying some negative stuff. You know, I was explaining to her a situation and the situation wasn't the brightest situation. So when she interpreted it back to me, when she conversated back to me, she was talking to me as though what I was saying was not even negative. She was like, oh, really? That's good. That's great. And it kind of like got under my skin a little bit because normally I'm the person that's trying to you know, save the world and stuff like that. But it kind of made me look at myself like, wow, I'm, I'm real dirty. I feel dirty. Like, I feel dirty like I just had to, you know, shake off the debris on me or something like And I just kind of felt kind of, you know, like irritated for the simple fact that I wasn't on my job. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't on our grind. You know, I wasn't making myself better. But, you know, there are other people that's going to come into your life and make you better too. So she enlightened me in that moment. Because she was a person who was very aware. Uh, she was a person that was really vibrant. Like, and, and, and you can see it in this person. Like, this person's spirit was so light, light, light. It was just light, light. Um, you know, she was an adult. When I looked at her older adult, matter of fact, older than me and you both together. Um, when I looked at her, I just seen light. 
She had very, very bright eyes. She was just filled with goodness. And, you know, from that moment on, after the conversation, I began to, you know, tap back into who I really am, my higher self. You know, and it was it was just being a positive person and having a positive moment, you know, in this positive life. So you have many people to come into your life that will get you back on course with, you know, what you're supposed to be doing. Um, there are many circumstances, situations in life that hit you and it, it just it's like a wake up call, you know, to get you to realize you're on the wrong path and get you back on the right path. See, uh, life is like a paradox, man. And life could be like a box of chocolates at the same time, um, but I mean you, you can't you can't you can't just you know take everything for granted. Don't take people for granted that come into your life and and, and do good things for you. Uh, don't take circumstances for granted. And when you have these moments where you're dealing with people who you don't even know if you're gonna see them tomorrow, you know, like a lot of people like or like I used to be like I used to be like a really uptight dude um you know like really uptight like I didn't even want to be around people I had a phobia of being around people and maybe you're that perfect person who has a phobia of being around crowds of people um I know several people still like that and you just feel you know irritable it, it really hurts you to be around people sometimes because you have to broaden your understanding of people like you have to you have to fix yourself first and you have to realize hey I'm not a perfect person it's kind of, it's almost like repenting. You you just you just basically saying, you know what? I'm not I'm not really fully healed on the inside and I accept that within myself. So you got to accept yourself for who you are first. You know, accept your flaws, accept your mistakes. You know, I accept that my um my left eye it doesn't open as wide as my right eye. I accept the fact that my jawline structure is not as lined up on my top structure. I grind my teeth at night. You know, it's a lot of stuff that you have to accept about yourself. That you might be thinking that people see you as something lower than them when you go around them. That's not true because they have flaws as well. You know, you might see the most beautiful woman in the room and she looks better than you to your knowledge, to your knowledge. But in her mind, she probably sees all her flaws but thinks that you are the most beautiful woman that she's ever encountered and wants to make you her friend, but she just don't know about going with the ways to do that. You understand what I'm saying? So that's first things first. If you want to live this positive life, you got to realize that you have flaws. You come with problems. You just have to accept yourself. And I guarantee you, the more you get into feeling like that, guys, the more you'll be able to just go out here and just socialize like never before. Talk to all kind of people. Just walk up to people on the street, random people, and just get them to do things because you don't have that fear and that phobia about you know am i doing what i need to be doing am i who i you know am i feeling good about myself and do they like this do they like that do i look good do this look good like i mean that's like it's life man and um you're gonna find yourself more light um you're gonna like l-i-l-i-t-e -I -I -E light like more you know um weightless you know what i'm saying like featherweight light you know like you're gonna feel the burden you know, just be lifted off of your shoulders of thinking of all the fears that you thought that everybody sees in you. And it's just simply not true. It's all in your imagination, guys. So I hope that uh, resonated with you. And that's really, you know, some of the qualities that you need in order to live a positive life, guys. I'm Trinity Sanders. This is the infamous Living Around Network. Speak up. Let your voice be heard. Millionaire Mindset Challenge. Make sure you're thinking in the most highest form of millionaire listic thoughts. <laughs> literally, literally like just make sure you see the best in everyone make sure that you see value in everything make sure you bless all your assets around you your house cars kids dog even if you walk driving a station wagon bless that too because god can upgrade you and get you a g-wagon y'all know what a g-wagon is right it's a mercedes-benz jeep but a lot of people don't drive it because a lot of people don't possess that millionaire mindset okay i can go on and on rolls royce phantom bentley continental gt Mercedes S600, Maybach, Lord of that, all that. I can go Rafe. What you talking about, Rafe? Rafe with the stars on the ceiling? Oh, man, let me get off here, man. I'll see y'all later. In the meantime, I'll see you next time. Peace.